Do you want to take your real estate marketing to the next level? If yes, come closer, come closer, come closer right there because I'm going to show you in this video how to create a seamless Instagram carousel post to promote your real estate listings. My real estate brothers and sisters, this is going to make you that real estate agent. Are you ready? Let's go. To begin this tutorial, we first need to determine how many pages of our carousel that we want. Now, in this case, I'm going to show you how to make a five page carousel. So we need to do the math. 1080 times five is 5,400. So this canvas size is going to be 5,400 by 1080. You do the math. Now I'm going to go over to create a design up here. Now, as you may notice, I am in the glowed up version of Canva. I'm going to go into custom size over here and simply the width is again going to be 5400 by 1080. Now this is going to yield a five page design and again we want to be in pixels okay create new design now from here we are going to get this long strip canvas which is exactly what we want fear not do not be afraid because essentially what we're going to do is take this long strip design and then we're going to use a third party tool to then split this image up because i find that this is just the easiest way to do it now next thing is we want to go to file up here we want to go to settings. We want to have our rulers and guides turned on. And now we want to add guides. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And in this case, I'm going to go over to custom here. And I want five columns in this case. And I want the gap to be zero. So we have five pages. As you see here, add guides. And we can see here we got one, two, three, four, and five pages now the way that this is a seamless carousel post is that when you are designing this you know coming soon or just listed promotional post is that you ideally want your elements to bleed into the other pages now i typically like to do this using um, different kind of elements images or graphs um, you typically don't want text to be bleeding into the other pages because that just might make it confusing when you're reading it so let me give you just the quick rundown hold down <laughs> i'm gonna go into elements and typically what i like to do is i scroll down and i like to use frames and i like to use grids so let's say for the first frame i'm gonna make it take up this but i want to slightly have it bleed into the second page here and let's say i go into grids here and i want a collage of photos because i just want to put multiple property listing photos in here you can choose whatever you would like let's say we go with this one it's gonna do that don't be scared we can just click and drag and we can do something like that and again have this bleed into the fourth page okay so ideally you would want to put some kind of text here that says just listed coming soon maybe a description of the property here and perhaps some additional information about the property here and then ideally the last page i always like to have a call to action which is ideally your contact information so people know how to get a hold of you because they are interested in seeing this property now i'm not going to show you how to design this because i've already done the work for you because if i go over here shameless plug i sell this just listed coming soon seamless carousel on my etsy shop so give it a looky loo if that interests you you can find the link in the description box down below as well or scan the code on screen as you see over here now, as mentioned, this is going to be a five page carousel. I've already created the grid lines for you just to kind of give you a reference as to how the pages work, if you know what I mean. Now, if we scroll down here, I have a total of four different designs, typically because I have a two just listed kind of text here because I have one with a gradient here and one with a hollowed out effect. So if I go ahead and drag in a photo of a random property, let's say this one here and this one here, we can see here that we have this hollowed out effect. And in case that doesn't look good on the specific photo you have, that's why I created the second one here with the gradient with the full um, full text here. So it's not hollowed out, it's completely filled in. So just listed. And as mentioned, I like to use different grids. So this creates a collage of photos. So ideally this would essentially be page number three. So let me turn on my rulers and guides here. You can see here that this is page 
one here, which bleeds into page two. And you can see here that page three bleeds into uh, page four simply because we have that um, grid that is bleeding into from the third page to the fourth page. Again, because I've done the work for you, all you have to do is very simply drag and drop your photos into here and obviously go about changing the text here on the second and fourth page so that it is relevant to the property. And again, as mentioned, the last page here is gonna be a call to action. Ideally, you would want to put an image of yourself. So let me go into my brand kit and see if I have photos of me. Let's go over here and this one. And I would drag in something like this, like that, or let's see this pop out one. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. And then obviously you would want to put your logo, your brokerage logo and your personal logo down here and change out the text and information. Now again, here are the just listed ones and then the coming soon ones. I, in this case, I actually added more <laughs> photos with the grid here, but totally up to you. You can switch things around if you wanted to. Again, very simply, all you have to do is drag and drop your images in here. Again, I did the same thing with the first design here. It's the hollowed out effect. So let me just drag and drop here. <clears throat> Actually, I have more photos here. Okay, more photos here. Just to read the, oop. Yeah, we want that. All right, same thing here. We'll drag that in here, drag that in here, drag that in here. And again, the first grid here bleeds into the second page. So when you are swiping through your carousel, it looks like all the pages are connected. Um, but in this case, right now, it's all connected. We will then have to um, download these images and use a split tool, which I will show you in just a sec. So let me um, go ahead and you know what? Let's go with the first one here. Again, as mentioned, I would put your logo down here. And just one quick thing to note, when you are dragging in, let's say your logos and whatnot. Oh, where you go? Logo, where are you at? Okay, over here. Here is my personal logo. And if you want to learn how to make your own logo on Canva, which I did with this one, definitely check out this video here, linked in the cards above or in the description box down below. Now, let me find my EXP logo. It's in this one. Okay, me grab that. Again, it's probably all the way over there. Let me just size this accordingly. Down here kind of like that make sure it's centered now as i was trying to allude to when you are putting let's say a logo on over here let's say i wanted to take this logo and i wanted to put it over there over here um, essentially what i would have to do is i would have to lock this grid down because if i don't if i drag another image or element into on top of this grid it's going to think i want to put it into the grid which is not what we want to do so in this case i'm going to click on this grid here i'm going to go over to here um and no nope, that's not what we want to do right click yeah i'm going to right click sorry i'm still learning the new canva i'm going to right click and i'm going to just lock this down so ideally hopefully yes it won't the logos won't go into the grid there so i'm just gonna copy this here actually you know what i'm going to select this then i'm just going to hit the alt key on my keyboard select that hit alt key and then click and drag over here so don't mind the drawing on my screen but that's basically what i'm going to do now you can do it like that or you can kind of separate the logo so one down there one up there or you can keep them together i might make this one a little bit bigger but again just be mindful of where you are putting the logos because we want it to be um, ideally on the first page and not bleed into the second page. Alrighty, so let's just clean that up a little bit. All right, so at this point, once you're done creating your design here on the one big strip canvas, now what we need to do is download this as a PNG. So I'm gonna go in and just grab the fourth page here and we're just going to leave it at that hit done and once we have that downloaded we then need to take this image and use it in a third party software now i will put the link to this tool here which is called um, pine tools this is the split 
image tool i'll be sure to link it in the description box down below so don't worry i got you at this point what you want to do is upload the image we have just downloaded from canva so i'm just going to go to choose a file here and the image is this one here so i'm going to hit open and i'm going to split the image horizontally and then we need to choose the number of blocks. So in this case, it was a five page carousel. And then at this point, we just wanna go down here to split image. And all pieces are split. So I'm just gonna download the zip file here. And then I'm gonna go open it on my desktop and I'll be right back. All right, so here's my downloads. I'm just gonna give this a quick jump through. So this is the first page as mentioned here. We have our logos here. If we go to the second page, that's what that will look like third page, fourth page, and then fifth page. So for me, because I am on a Mac system, I would just uh, airdrop these images to my phone, or in this case, my iPad, which you know what, I'm gonna do that right now. Um, airdrop to iPad. But in this case, if you don't have AirDrop, you very well will want to either put this into Google Drive or in a Dropbox so you can then download those images to your phone. So now I'm gonna show you how to properly upload these images to on the desktop browser of Instagram and also how to do this properly on the mobile Instagram app. So let's go. So once again, here are the images that I've just AirDropped to my iPad three, four, and five. Now let's go into Instagram and upload this properly. So you wanna to go to where you can post a post and we wanna turn this icon on right here. This is gonna allow you to select multiple. Now we wanna make sure we select them in order. So it's gonna be this page first, second, third, fourth, fifth and if we go to next we can press away and we can see and just you know give this a quick slide through we can see that it is indeed a seamless post because it looks like the pages are connecting which is exactly what we want and at that point all you have to do is hit next and go ahead and add music if you wanted to tag people if you wanted to and obviously add in your um, caption as well and then just go ahead and hit share now let me show you how to upload this using just you know the browser of Instagram. So I'm on Chrome. I'm just logged into Instagram. And if you can't airdrop or Google Drive or Dropbox the images, no worries. You can just do this directly on Instagram. Or if you are using Metasuite where it connects your Instagram to your business Facebook account, then you can definitely do that there. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to do it on Instagram. So I'm going to go over to the create here. I'm gonna to go to post and I'm gonna select from computer, obviously. Now those images were in a zip file. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit open and hopefully it's smart enough to know it to be in order. So let's just go ahead and make sure. And it is at this point, obviously just go in and just hit next, next, next. And then go and put your caption in. I think it's a little bit more limited in terms of using the actual application on your mobile device. So it doesn't seem like you can add in music and whatnot. But still, you can add in a caption. And from here, just go ahead and hit share. And that is it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, then you know what it is. You know what to do. Yeah. Comment down below. Hashtag and crew. So I know you are real one because obviously you stayed to the end of this video. And as mentioned, if you would like to shop my Instagram real estate templates on Etsy, definitely check out the link in the description box down below or scan this code here. So hopefully that will save you some time. But if you would like to learn more social media and Canva tricks then definitely check out this dedicated playlist over here on my channel and if you're ready get ready to click and three two one